Hey everyone, this is Chris Cummins here, Chief Photographer of Glow Imagery. We're at Kansas City Portrait Photography Studio. In today's video, I was going to show, uh, show you a really neat way to get your photographs off of your phone and into print. I'm always talking about talking to people about how it's so important to have finished photography in your lives. Uh, you know, these devices are awesome and they're so convenient. They are the best camera because they are the camera that's always with you. Now, um, that's great, but we want to make sure that, that we get them off of here because the, as beautiful as they are, we want to make sure we can appreciate them and, and, and get them where they can't be deleted too. So, um, a great question. It's this is this is the you know it's the day after Labor Day here, and you probably have a ton of photography from your vacations, from your trips to the lake, and all the fun you've been having and, and stuff of your kids. So often, you know, I'll, I'll sometimes have the question from people like, "Well, Chris, what you know, what's the easiest way for me to to do something with these these pictures?" Uh, just to, to print them out. I don't want to have to make this real complicated. I don't want to do all the things that you do. I just want to print them out. And, and here's an awesome way to do that. Um, what we're going to do today is make a photo book from your summer vacation photos. Actually, what we'll be doing is, is in this tutorial, doing it with my summer vacation photos that we've taken with Charlotte, my little uh, one-year-old daughter. Um, so let's move to the phone here. This is my phone, an iPhone 5 right here. And during the video, you're going to see me looking towards the phone here. That's actually... It's, it's, it kind of works out, but I've got a, a dual monitor set up here, so I'm just going to be looking at what you're seeing there on the video. So let's move over to what I, I've grouped them together, and there's a wonderful app I want you to download that's free. It's called PhotoBook right there. That is a pretty neat photo book, and there's several apps out there that allow us to do this. Let me reorient things because we're going to do this. We're going to do this on landscape. There we go. Okay. It's because my phone was upside down there. <laughs> um, all right, let me get this just right for us here. So here is the phone app here, and, and I was already working on it before I talked to you folks here. And let's just go back and, and go back to, to phase one here. When you download it, you're going to see a wonderful, great, now we got to go back to portrait here. Let's do this right. I'm sorry, folks. A little confusing. This app has... Um, I'm not sure the company that has it, but but is doing this. But this app is really neat. It has a few options you can set up here with your photography. It has a a photo book, a postcards. Oh, wow, you even send flowers. I'm not sure how the photos play into that. But uh, there's a photo calendar there, which I'm excited about. And then there's also uh, greeting cards, uh, and there's even a little mini calendar there. So there's about six or seven really cool things you can do with this app, just a, easy ways to get your photographs off the phone and in print. So let's move to, let's, we're going to work on a photo book here. So what we do is, let's bring this back to landscape here. This is one of those apps that requires you to have it. Now, why did it go so big? Okay, so now that I've made the app real big in the window here, you won't see me anymore, but that might be a blessing. Uh, what we'll do is uh, pull up my video here. We'll make me a little bit smaller, and you'll still be able to see me in there in the corner. But um, here we go. So what we have here is uh, the, the opening photo book set of templates. And I'm just going to scroll through these and give you an idea here. We've got a black cover here. We've got a good-looking white cover there. And below it, I guess you can see some of the different kinds of layout options you have with that kind of photo book. This looks like a full photo uh, cover book right there. That might be kind of nice. Um, I'm not sure I like those colored pages, though. I'm kind of old school. I like my, my pages to be white, just like they did it back in the day with Wife Magazine and all that stuff. That one looks good. Let's see what our options are here. That's kind of cool. Ooh, I like that. I don't know about those purple pages, though. I hope we don't have purple pages. You can see we got plenty of options here to do a photo book. Let's work with this one right here. This one could be kind of nice. So what we do is go ahead and just click on it. And it'll bring us up some options here. And so uh, deselect all. Like I said, I've been working on this a little bit just to make sure I wasn't, uh, I knew what I was doing here. But I want to try to do this in chronological order. I'd like, I'm kind of, uh, I guess I'm, I'm being a little bit anal retentive here, but I want to, uh, pick out the photos in chronological order because this is going to be like a summer, Charlotte summer of 2014. So what I'm going to do here is uh, go scroll up. Actually, I think they're down here. 
Yeah, there they are. So, like, let's just start with our Memorial Day trip. We took down to southeast Missouri to go see my wife's family. We'll start with that one. Here's another one right there. Let's see, the other one's from southeast Missouri. Don't see them on here. Got a big pool trip we took yesterday. I'm excited to put in there. Well, let's go and put one of her with my mom. I liked a lot. And then there's her in a backyard. We wrote out a little her name with chalk there. Naturally, she didn't do that, being just one little over one. Um, did some lake trips to my sister's house. Uh, so let's include those in there. Let's include... Um, goodness, what else we want to do here? Is that birthday party one? Did some trips to the park like that. Let's see here. Let's see. Yep, there's another one I liked a lot. Um, there's this one. Now let's put in all those ones from the trip to the pool. I like these. I like these a lot. This is a lot of fun we had there. And let's pick out those two and that one. So when you decide, I picked out about 26 photos there. I'm going to click on this little button right here next. And I th what will happen is it will autofill our book. See, I like the way that looks. That looks pretty good. So on this screen, you're going to work on the cover. You're going to edit the cover. And you have, you can change the photo down here. Let me move me out of the way. You can change the photo down here, or you can change the title. We're going to change the title. I like that photo. Let's keep the photo in there. Let's change the title. Uh, let's put down Charlotte. Let's put down Charlotte's. No, I'm just going to do this for now. Put down this. Because it might be cool to do one for fall and winter. You can do the same. Get those photos off of your mobile device. Get them into your life. Okay. Well, I didn't exactly do them chronologically here. Um... Let's see here, but as you can see, what you can do is just kind of flip through the pages. There's the opening, couple blank spreads. And here we are looking through all this, through all this. Isn't that fun? Okay, that's one limitation of this uh, app is that if you have kind of a really skinny crop and an unconventional crop like this one is it will um, force it to fit in this space. So there actually is, uh, and in the original image, there is Charlotte. Uh, there is more concrete below here with her little wet footsteps. So that is one limitation of the uh, app right there. But um, as you can tell, it's kind of neat. You just drag your, your finger across the pages and it'll slide it across. So you start right here. I'm sorry I can't show my finger on there with this screen recording. You go like that. She is playing. She's playing. So I'd like to think that would be a neat ender image right there to have at the very end of the uh, of the layout. Well, so I'm not quite sure how the rhyme and reason or how it, it puts together uh, puts together the images um, if you want to do them in a specific order. I think it may be fairly random if I'm right. But let's do, um, let's keep playing with this a little bit. I don't know. That's pretty good. Isn't that pretty neat? So it's a real easy way to do something real, uh, real nice with your images on your phone. It's, 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 it's really easy. So let's pretend we got your, your book all squared to go here. I'm not quite sure I like the way this one's laid out, but I'm just going to go with it. When you're done with your layout, um, actually, let me show you a couple functions on here before we do that. They're kind of important. Let's say like you want to uh, switch a couple images around here. So let's take this one. You just hold your finger down on it. You didn't see me do it, but you just press your finger down, 
hold it on the touch screen on your phone and drag it down to one of these boxes right here and it'll take it out of there and so what you can do see like I'd love to have this one over here and put this one back over here see how we did that so when you want to put it back into the, the book what you do is just you click on that you uh, you touch right here on this image and you just drag it up into the space and it'll put it back in there because I think it'd be cute to do like this have our little footsteps right there see how the little feet right there you got feet right there and maybe back up in there feet right there and little footsteps right there I think it'd be cool to switch these whoops so you can tell how real easy it is just to adjust things get it just right the way you want it let's move this one back up into here and I think that's pretty good I like the way that looks it's a good ender okay so that's how, you, that's how you can edit it. We're going to go up here and click Next. And this is going to give us some options of different kinds of books we can do. It takes you through this neat video. The company kind of profiles what their products look like. And it gives you a couple options here. I'm going to go with the most expensive one because I really like the way those hardcover books look. So click on that. Uh, there was... Yeah, right there, there was the... Actual delivery date, estimated delivery date. And today's going to be the first, so that's going to, since the first is a holiday, Labor Day, so um, that's about 18, 18 days. Pretty good turnaround. So, yeah, you're just going to go ahead and fill in your details here and uh, delivery addresses, things like that. Um, and then I'm assuming next, on the next one, they'll go ahead and get your billing information there. And, um, I'm sure there's maybe be some shipping options on there. We'll find out here. But uh, naturally, I'm not going to fill in my credit card information here. I am going to order this book. I actually am going to do that. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and incorporate that with this video of uh, just kind of uh, do a little video showing what it looks like and get you my take on it. Never ordered from this uh, app before, but uh, we'll make sure that the actual finished product is something really nice, um, something that I can recommend. So, uh, anyway, I won't bore you with this part. I think uh, everybody's got a little bit of brains in their head can figure out how to do the ordering part. So, um, yeah, that's the uh, photo book app. We'll back out here. It's right here. Let me go ahead and reorient it. It's called Photo Book. You can find that on the App Store. It is completely free. And it looks pretty cool, but we will uh, wait and see and see exactly what they do with the printed product. Okay, well look what just arrived. It is September 9th and uh, uh, we've got our package, our book here. I have not opened it yet. I wanted to do that uh, on video here so we can kind of evaluate it and see it for the first time together. Uh, the company that makes this book is called uh, Vuki. That's V-U-K-E-E. -E. And uh, they're the company that's behind the photo book app that I've been showing you. And uh, so here's the book. Um, right off the bat, something really cool here. They told me that uh, on the app, whenever I was ordering the book, they said that the book wouldn't be here until September 18th. Well, here it is September 9th. So uh, they really kind of uh, under-promised and over-delivered there in delivery time, which is pretty cool. So uh, what I'll do is just go ahead and start to open it up here, and we'll take a look at what it looks like. see there so far so good looks pretty good let's go ahead and use the blade to open it I was nervous about 
using a blade around something finished like this. Don't want to scratch it, nick it or anything. Okay. So let's move all this stuff over here. Let's take a look here. There it is. That photo looks pretty good. Let's see if you can see it here. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever printed my iPhone photos. That's bad. <laughs> Here she is. So, so far, I think for, for um, kind of amateur use of the photos, this is pretty good. I think a lot of you would be really happy with it, what I'm seeing so far. Uh, the photographer, the pro photographer in me, notices a few things on it. Uh, some of the photos look a little bit dark. Um, you know, I'd prefer to have a little bit more of a, a pure white in some of these photos. But, you know, I think for for kind of amateur and, and just serious hobbyist type photography, I think you'll all be very happy with what I'm seeing so far. Um, the pages here have a dark, looks like a little bit of tone to them. A little bit of an off-white, which wasn't real apparent uh, whenever we were laying it out on the iPhone app. See, I'm more of a fan of the white pages, but you know, they don't bother me that much. These pages don't. There she is. There's a the little girl. So far, so good, folks. This photo is a little bit uh, soft, which is uh, it means it has a little bit of blurriness to it. But that might be photographer error. That's not really a fault of the book, people. There we go. There may be some of my favorite photos I took this summer, right here. We got myvuki.com. Well, I'll give it a B plus A minus. Um, I think for for like I was saying for hobbyists and for just getting your snapshots off your phone uh, of your children, your family. Uh, vacation picks. This is a really neat way to do it. I, I'm really pleased with the result here. Um, only thing that would keep it from being an A plus is maybe, uh, maybe a little bit more brightness in the photos, a little bit more um, uh, color and tonal fidelity, as we say, or uh, just a little more true to what I see on my phone. But um, you know, I, I want the phone when I when I take the photographs and I have them on my phone and I I, I make them look a certain way. You know, the perfect uh, reproduction is not always going to be possible with these kinds of services. So I want to give them a little bit of a pass on that. But, hey, I think, you know, for 99% of you folks out there, this is going to be a real neat idea to do. So um, here it is. This is the photo book app, and I'm going to give it uh, very high marks for printing those photos, getting them off of your cameras and into your life, um, getting them off of your phones and into your life. Pretty neat. There we are. This is Chris Cummins of Glow Imagery. Uh, let's get those photos off the devices. Easy way to do it right here is on the photo book. There's some other ones out there too. Maybe I'll have some time to look at those and, and preview them for you and, uh, and give you guys a review. So uh, I'm a portrait photographer, Kansas City. I own a portrait studio here named Glow Imagery. And my name's Chris Cummins, and thank you for watching this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.